everybody, this is me, Will from Simple Kid Fun, and in this video we're going to learn to play Cover Your Assets. This game is by Grandpa Beck, he's actually made a few other games like Skull King and a lot more, I don't know. Um, but let's get started on how to play this game. Alright, I already have the cards out of the game, but I'm going to lay them out here so you can see uh, the value of them. Okay, so here are the cards of the game. We have our gold, our silver, our Ferraris, which are classic autos, jewels, uh, bank account, coin collection, cash under the mattress, stocks, stamp collection, piggy bank, baseball cards, and the homes. The, uh, these are all worth different values. As you see, the gold is 50,000 and the silvers are 25,000. We're gonna talk about the values of these cards and um, what they are in worth and what you do in the game. Okay, so our first cards that we're gonna talk about are the golds. These are worth $50,000 and there's only four of these. These are one of the wild cards and we'll talk about those in the next part. But for now on, let's move on to the next one. Silvers, 25,000. They are also wilds. Um, there are um, eight of these. Eight silvers in the game. These are uh, common to get, but uh, rare to get. So those are also wilds too. But now we're gonna talk about like the main cards of the game that you're gonna probably always get. So these are the Ferraris, which are classic autos. And there's um, 10 of these, 10 classic autos. So, and these are worth $15,000. So pretty valuable. So let's set these aside. Jewels, 15,000, 10 of these. Pretty valuable as the classic autos are. Bank accounts, 10,000, 10 of these. These are pretty valuable as well. $10,000 for a coin collection. These are actually really uh, pretty good to get. Uh, there aren't like worths or like secret abilities for the cards, uh, except for like golds and silvers because you can put them like with one other card and lay on top of your deck. You just wanna keep it hidden from the other players. So, coin collections are being set aside. Cash under the mattress, five thousand dollars. Uh, these aren't very. These are very common to get, actually. They there's ten of these, um, and these aren't worth very much, but they're my favorite. Uh, five thousand dollar ones. Uh, ten thousand uh, dollars for the stocks. Uh, these are also uh, kind of rare in the game. So uh, there are also ten thousand dollars because you know stocks they are a lot of money and you get them established by governments. So put those aside. We have our five thousand dollar stamp collections. Oh, those must be some valuable stamps if uh, they're five thousand dollars. And we have our piggy bank. You're saving them up in the piggy, the piggy, 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 piggy. <laughs> five thousand dollars for the piggy. Uh, there's our baseball cards, five thousand dollars. We've got George Herman Babe Ruth. Uh, we've got Maze and we've got Cracker Jack ball player. I can't tell who that is, uh, but I think it's Jackie Robinson, uh, Babe Ruth, and Shoeless Joe Jackson. Those are three very famous baseball players. And last but not least, the homes. These homes are. Uh, very valuable because they, they can turn into a huge fight out there. Anyway, we are going to talk about how to play the game in the next one. Okay, so now that we have our deck of cards nice and shuffled, we're going to draw five of them right now. If you have like a bigger group, like sit five or six players, um, we you can draw four for each player. So we've got two silvers right here. So we've got two silvers right here. We've got a piggy bank. Stock. And, so, and a stamp collection. So we have two silvers right here. So these are our wilds. They're worth 25000 So right now we have... Uh, calculating, calculating, calculating. $70,000 right here, but we have to get a match right now. So, uh, there, you can do four things on your turn. 
So the first thing you can do is discard a card. So since I don't have a match, um, I'm going to discard the stamp collection. And then I, I draw a card. And I got a bank collection. And that's why, and I would either discard or, like I said before, with your silvers or golds, you can hide a, a something under there, place it down, and that's our second step. If you get a match, like let's say, uh, a bank account right here. So, let's say we had two bank accounts, and we played them down. That would be a match. Nobody can actually steal your first match, which is actually really good. <coughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Now for our third thing, it is to steal cards. Okay, so let's say, uh, uh, stocks right here. Okay, uh, let's say that was on somebody else's team. I could, uh, like, if they had a match that wasn't their, uh, first match, uh, I could use this stock right here, and I could say, challenge. And if he has, like, a gold, a silver, or another stock, um, he he says, I can defend, and he plays down his gold, silver, or stock. But if if you have something like, let's say we have the silver right here, uh, we could play that down and say, I uh, I have something to defend too, and you play your silver, and then if he says I can't defend, you take the entire thing and put it on top of your deck like that whoops that was on the bottom right yeah so this is now very valuable so if somebody could steal this they could so that's on our deck right now okay i just explained to you the three things we could do um if you have any questions please post in the comments below what we did wrong okay and now unfortunately we have to end today i hope you enjoyed playing uh grandpa bex cover your assets um i think it's a really fun game and recommend it to you but anyway i hope i see you later on another simple kid fun video goodbye